Well, hello, it's the 11th of June 2020, and here you are with Dan in the Poly Tunnel of Hopes and Dreams here in Essex, UK. So, there we are. Now, today I'm going to be making an update video, and that is going to be on ginger and figs. So, ginger, absolutely delicious, incredibly, incredibly nutritious, and beautiful in gingerbread men. And figs, absolutely lovely, sweet, and succulent crop, and also multiple use for fig leaves as well. So we're going to make a start on those and let's make a start with the ginger. Okay, so down here you can see the ginger. Now, I've got the root planted in this pot. It's about a foot wide, probably a little bit more than that. It's not a deep pot, it's probably about eight inches, something like that. And you can see the stalk coming from the ginger root is looking very, very strong. So this came up about three or four weeks after I planted it. I planted it inside and it was on a south facing windowsill. So it got quite warm, which is just what it needed because when I planted it, frosts were still possible and it was very, very unlikely that it would germinate outside because it was quite cold at the time. So since the weather's warmed up, I've had it out here in the poly tunnel, and many of you are aware we've had some quite warm temperatures. I mean, over certain days, it was up over 40 degrees C here in the poly tunnel, so it's really, really benefited from that. I'm watering in it twice, yeah, about twice a week. You don't want to overwater ginger, because if you do that, you can actually rot to the root, which is what you don't want. So this came up, as I stated, within three to four weeks. And these have come up in the last week or so. So it's been in here probably about eight weeks. So looking very, very good indeed. I'm very much looking forward to taking out the root when it's ready. So there we are. Now, some people have asked me, was it one from the supermarket or green grocers, or whatever? No, I actually purchased this variety. I don't know what variety it was. It didn't say, but I got it from home base. Okay, so it may be a variety of ginger better suited for growing here in the UK. But so far, so good good okay so we'll move on to some figs now i've never actually managed to produce a good fig crop here in this project because i've, I've got a more established fig tree but i didn't look after it properly when it was younger but i'm starting to work on that so we might go over that fig tree um, another time but this one here madeline de deux saison i purchased this from pomona fruits a few Oh, a no, month, few months ago, something like that, and it's said to be able to crop twice in one year. So there we go. Now, many of you in warmer countries, you may be getting two crops of figs, the early crop and the main crop per year, but here in the UK, that's relatively unlikely. But apparently this variety can do it. So there we are. And I'm hoping it being in the poly tunnel, it really, really will help it along with that. So you can also see some cuttings I've got here for some figs. I've got uh, all sorts. I've got Marinus at the back there. I've got Grigio de Sio, I think that's how you say it. And what's this one? Negron. So there we go. So quite a nice uh, variety of figs there. I'm expecting, you know, to get a good production of these going. I really want to get more into fig culture. So these were taken as cuttings from probably, I think they were taken during the winter and they were kept in the fridge. And then I rooted them, many of you may be aware, I initially rooted them in here along with these to get them to take. So probably about March, April time, I took them out and put them in there and then they formed roots. And within the last few weeks, I've put them in these pots of soil here. And you can see, or compost rather, they're doing very, very well. Now, these ones down here, this one, Blanche as well, this is looking pretty good. Now, there's a bit of a story behind these. They were actually taken. I think there's another one. Yeah, that one there, that's taken as well. You can just see the... You can just see it there, look, the little shoot coming from it. They were actually taken last August, and straight away I put them in them containers of compost and put them in the polytunnel, the other polytunnel of eternal love and happiness, and uh, just left them there, basically. And what happened was I didn't think they were going to do anything, but this year they woke up. So they're actually in there, all of... You know, from August all through the autumn, all through the winter, and I'm glad I left them now. They didn't like they were doing anything, and suddenly this year they come, they sprung back into life. So that's variety Blanche. So I've got all sorts of figs going on here. So there you go. That's the fig and ginger update. 
If you like my work, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And you can always check me out on Dan underscore Home Gardens on Instagram. And I'm, it's looking like uh, these peppers, it's not going to be too long before they're ready. I've got some good, uh, what do you call it, uh, chilies. I've got some good blossoms on there and some smaller fruit forming. And of course, I'm just going to show you something over here. I noticed the yuzu has formed a couple of fruits. There we go. So I really thought actually a few months ago I'd lost this, another one down there, I'd lost this tree because it sort of, the leaves curled, then defoliated, but it came back with these. Maybe yuzus do that. So there we go. But either way, I'm very, very happy with it. Right, off I go. Tally ho. Till the next time, thank you.